46. So, in conclusion, different cells perform different functions, all of which are key to living things. Therefore, they are also known by another expression. Anyone? Yes, Rubina. The building blocks of life. You are correct. Now, I'm a little worried. Over the holidays, you were supposed to revise the topic of cells. But from the looks on your faces, a lot of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So, to ensure everyone does their revision, I will set up a pop quiz on the topic of cells. Alright! Settle down now. I say, Miss Rani asked you a question. Yes, Miss Rani? What? Do you have something to say, Isaac? You asked me a question? No. Sit down, Isaac. Were you paying attention? Yes. What did I say? There's a pop quiz. There's a pop quiz. There's a pop quiz. Isaac, what were you doing? He was doodling a rabbit. Oh, it's time. Goodbye, class. Remember to revise the topic of cells. Number five. Do you see anything different about these books? No. Okay, how about now? Oh! Shh, Isaac's poaching. Good. Um, Isaac, can you help me return these books to the library? Why? You can return them yourself. Um, I have to go see Miss Rani urgently. to do now is run up six floors before Isaac gets there. I can't! I... went out. Obviously, everything in the lift went out. My mobile phone had no signal. Ugh, sounds like a horror movie. The worst horror was being stuck with Isaac, the worst person. You're so mean. 
Sorry, the second worst person to be stuck with. Isaac was making all these weird noises and he was whimpering like this. <laughs> he was so scared, he was hyperventilating like this. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Rani. Number four. Look at back. I came back. I couldn't leave you here all alone. I thought you had left for good. I couldn't. Thank you for returning. Wonderful. So that concludes the auditions. But I'm going to need a strong creative theme to transport audiences into a magical world. I'm going to need a set designer, costume designer and lighting designer. That's me. Interviews for these positions will take place now, so please bring any sketches you have to make this the best play the school has ever seen. Mr. Marsh, when will the results be out? You'll know when you know. Hi, Mr. Marsh. Thank you for seeing me today. So, I was thinking what would be nice is if we use a red dress with a green bow. Right. These two colours. Mm-hmm. What about this one? Oh, that was for my cousin's birthday party, while that one was for my neighbour's ballet recital. And what about this one? Oh, that's the best one! I'm saving it for my Nobel Prize ceremony. Wait, what's this? Oh, uh, it's... It's great! Did you do this, Rubina? Um... Well... How did it go? Fantastic, of course, as always. Alright, kids, gather round. I must say, there weren't many choices. Please choose me, please choose me. Who are you me? talking to? The Theatre Angels! Abby's got nothing to worry about! I can't wait to design all the costumes. What makes you think you'll get chosen? I'm the best designer in the whole school. And besides, I think I'm the only one who's interviewed for this position. And there we go. The lead characters of Barbara and the Bees goes to Abby and Adrian respectively. Oh my! I can't believe I get to play Barbara! This is so cool, I can't wait! Abby, I'm going to design the most beautiful dress for you. And your costume designer will be... It will be talked about in every school and every girl will want it. Isaac Earl. What? 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 Correct, Isaac! Mr. Marsh, did you get the wrong name? You drew this, right? Where did you get that? I got this from your friend, Rubina. I told him that you drew that. Well, it's wonderful. If you can make all your costumes like this, we are set. That's all for now. Thank you, everyone. Back to your classes. Mm, but, Mr. Marsh, what do I get to do? You'll be in charge of the set. The set? Nobody cares about the set. Number three. My favourite dish! Did you use vegan chicken? Abby, don't worry! I did! Oh wow! I didn't know you could cook! You look like someone who has never been into a kitchen before! Abby, I try! So what's your dish? Oh, it's my favourite vegan recipe! Zucchini and black bean casserole! Looks delicious! It is, Isaac! The flavour? Just... Delicious! Hey, Adrian. Is that what I think it is? Yes. Sesame and kale yuba noodles. Is that Japanese? Yes. It was tough trying to get the yuba noodles. You could have just used regular noodles. They're still vegan. Really? I don't know why I thought regular noodles were bad noodles. Oh no. Look who's coming. Excuse me, excuse me. Is that a pyramid? Of course, you would think it is a pyramid. It is my homage to France. Chocolate Perfederal Tower. Where did you buy that from? By Sacré Bleu! I made it myself. Well, it looks like you bought it. 
Ovina, this is vegan day. Your profiteroles doesn't look vegan. Hello? No animals were harmed in the making of my profiterole tower. Did you just forget where eggs come from? <laughs> the farm. Eggs come from chickens. And chickens, quack quack, are animals. Excuse me, Abby. It's just a small technicality. My beautiful tower doesn't deserve to be here. I'm moving to another table. Isaac, I can't wait to taste this. Oh, I hope you love it. Number two. Just give me a minute. Thank you. Since perfederals are very hard to demonstrate, I'm going to be explaining to you the recipe. First, fill your perfederals with cream, like I did. And then, arrange them nicely with the strawberries. I'm sure they'll stick together in your kitchen. Once you're done with that, take your warmly melted chocolate and drizzle it on top of your perfederals. I'm sure it'll work well in your kitchen. So, any questions? Yes, of course. Isn't it supposed to be a vegan dish? Why does it have eggs and cream? Thank you, and that's my time for today. Number one. How was your day? It was okay. Did the thing with your friends go okay? Mom, for the last time, they are not my friends. They are just my classmates. You should be nicer to them. Why be nice? When being nice never made our lives any better. Rubina, haven't I done enough for you? I've done my best. By making sure you can go to school without any worries. If you need anything for school, pocket money. I know I can't give you as much as some parents. But I always make sure you're never wanting for anything too much. You're an intelligent young lady. You've even given yourself a better name than I could. Rubina. But there's something much more important than being smart. It's being kind. 